back at it with the action and now Nick, I don't know if you remember this, but this man right here, Christian Garcia, actually debuted against the man he is going up against here today, Chris Green. Garcia versus Green 2, El Primero, a.k.a. El Parca, gave Garcia this match somehow, some way, as a Christmas present. And now we see Christian Garcia with that new attitude, that chip on his shoulder where he believes he is not getting that respect, that recognition that he deserves. And now tonight he has the option, not well, the option, but the chance to derail Chris Green's momentum. We've seen Green with that impressive victory against Owen, but what can Garcia bring here uh, tonight, Nick? Mm -hmm. Back in the day, and I remember exactly what you're talking about, because I remember back in the day, Christian Garcia lost to Chris Green in a match with John Carter ringside back when Green was part of the wrestling club. And Garcia now has, as you mentioned, that opportunity. Garcia has to show out, because Chris Green has proved without a shadow of a doubt that he has heart. He beat Owen on the last ambition in the main event. He almost derailed Harris Turner's run and the S Cup. And so Chris Green is gonna come at this match with everything that he's got. This Chris Green, to be quite frank, is a lot different than the Chris Green that Christian Garcia faced originally. And he lost then. So Christian Garcia needs to put his, put the, put the burners on he needs to be a jet engine coming straight at chris green and needs to not relent for a single solitary second that's my opinion on the matter anyway we did see on the last ambition to your point not only did chris green win his match in the main event against owen but also christian garcia secured his first victory against jordan trance on that very ambition so both men currently on winning streaks you know i don't care what anyone says about the semantics they're both on streaks and they both have been winning so we are going to see one man's undefeated streak get snapped here tonight but the one thing is is will we see garcia get redemption or will chris green show that he just is better than christian garcia these are both rookies that have something to prove and chris green has proved and but chris green you know let me step that back for a second chris green has proved time and time again that he is a changed man when he first came here to ocw you know people kind of discounted him when christian garcia lost to green the first time people thought and garcia particularly thought Chris Green, I lost to Chris Green? That's a completely different story now. Chris Green is now on the hot streak. He is proving day in and day out that he belongs here in OCW, but Christian Garcia, as I told him he needs to do, is putting on the burners to Chris Green right now. And he absolutely is. That big elbow right to the head, and now he's just following it up with more ground and pound and elbows to Chris Green. And to your point, Nick, you were absolutely right. In their first match, Chris Green had John Carter at ringside. That got into Garcia's head, that... You know, that interference, those disruptions really got to him. And now he has this chip on his shoulder. He just feels like that no one cares that he's here. Like he has to just go and reinvent the wheel. And you know what? If that's going to bring some added aggression, some added, you know, ruthless thuggery, then you know what? It's going to help him because right now, Chris Green hasn't touched him. He hasn't even laid a finger on him thus far. Christian Garcia looks like he's been, he's better than he's ever been before. Christian Garcia, as you just mentioned, is better than he's ever been before. Both of these men are better than they've ever been before. And you can kind of see it just a little bit. Christian Garcia working with Jasmine Caffey has been incorporating some of that MMA style into his moveset, kind of throwing some elbows, kind of mixing it up a little bit. I don't think that he needs to reinvent the wheel. I think he needs to get back to basics. And I think he's been doing that. I think he's been just mixing up his offense, kind of being a little unique and creating his own style. I think that's worked out pretty well for him, but we'll see how it goes here in this matchup. Both of these men are very fast. Both of these men can throw hands and, you know, they have various that. ways. Like, look at this. Look at the speed that they're representing right now. And now, oh, here's, oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, surfboard stretch using the ropes is added leverage. Jeez, just stretching them out. And this, this is a man with a vendetta. This is a man with a grudge right now. Like, you can see that he feels like he shouldn't have lost that first match. He feels mm -hmm. like it was stolen from him. You know, we've seen that in uh -oh. the OCW digital media oh, exclusive. Oh, no. But... That right, right then and there, his feelings don't matter when you're catching a mean clothesline and an elbow to the chest. Yeah, as you just saw right there, Christian Garcia relaxed a little bit. He took his foot off the gas, and as I told him, he needs to keep the burners on. Keep bringing it to Chris Green, because Chris Green can take over just like that. He clotheslined him in the corner, and now he's bringing it right to Christian Garcia. And he's got a lot of heart, this kid. He absolutely does, and a lot of people, I remember when 
when John kicked Chris out of the Wrestle Club, a lot of people like thought that was a new resurgence for his career, and honestly, I would agree with it. This resurgence right here, though, that pain, that belly-to-belly -belly from Garcia does not feel good, but both of these men have respectively found their wave sort of right now, you know? Like, Chris, he had that massive win against Owen. Garcia is finally starting to be comfortable with himself here in OCW, and now this is a true tale of two... I'm, I want to say weathered rookies going out against one another. Mm -hmm. And something tells me I have a sneaking suspicion with a big Jeez. belly to back suplex there that neither one of these men will actually come out of this match, quote unquote, a loser. I think a lot of the, I think both of these men, if they continue at this pace that they're going, are going to have a lot to be proud of. Oh, absolutely. I fully agree with you. There's always that misconception and those rumors that, you know, if you lose a match, it's the end of your career. But yet we've seen time and time again, wars go on where neither person's quote unquote stock fell. And in oh, reality, something like this, like, look at this, look at the added wherewithal and technique that Christian Garcia is adding into his arsenal. It's that mixture of that MMA moveset that he's learning from his protege. It's really showing in his moveset and it's really giving him a lot of added benefit against high flyers like Chris Green, who can't necessarily go blow for blow with Garcia. But as I keep saying, if Chris Green turns on the burners, you can see this match go in a completely different direction. And another thing that I, I completely forgot about is you gotta think about it. Garcia is also training with Al Parka. Like these guys are like two knees in a pod. And speaking of knee, I said knees in a pod, but you know what, it would have been peas in a pod. But hey, he got hit with that knee. And you gotta think, El Parker, we've seen his performance in the S-Cup. You know, he was more arm-based. He was more technical, trying to wear people down. So Garcia, he has the added benefit of not only does he have Jasmine for training, but he also does have El Parca. As right now, though, Chris Green is in the driver's seat. And sometimes you can kind of forget that El Parca, at the end of the day, is a very good technician in the ring. He's a high flyer. He's a luchador. We can all give him that. But due to those injury of the ribs he suffered in that match with Mark Reese. He's kind of been going for more of a technical style, and Chris Green kind of re reciprocating that surfboard we saw earlier in the match. But continuing on, like I was, yeah, but continuing on, like I was saying, Al Parker can teach uh, Christian Garcia a thing or two, just as Jasmine Caffey can. He's got a really good support system behind him. That is why he is the investment of DDE, and you know, tonight you got to think Dennis Dillinger is going to want that investment paid back here tonight as. Truthfully here, Nick, I'm not going to lie to you. Christian Garcia is dominating Chris Green right now. Like, he has been a step ahead of him each step of the way. And mm -hmm. Chris Green needs to he needs to show everyone what he can do. And he needs to start putting the foot on the gas pedal hard. And look, oh, at, look that. at that. Wow. And that would be definitely a good start to that. But as we mentioned before, you can't ever count out Chris, Chris Green. He's got way too much heart for that. But as you said, I mean, Christian Garcia has been putting the putting the brakes on him, be, or beating the brakes off of him, excuse me. But we'll see. I mean, this match is nowhere near over. Oh, my God, the big knee right to the head, right to the chin. Garcia whiffed his way into those big knees as that neck breaker follows up. Goodness, that does not feel good. But only a one, just shoving him right off. Like, Garcia is still very much so in this. He is not tired by any means. No. As you can see, if you saw in his match with Owen and you kind of saw it in his other match with Harris Turner, this man has an unlimited gas tank. He can, he has an uncanny ability to reach deep down and pull things out that you've never seen before when it comes to times like this. Chris Green hanging on to the ropes here. Garcia finally getting in motion, but once oh, again, just like he said, you can never count Chris Green out. But wait a minute. You know what oh, you can count as the spider special? Ambition, this baby. Put many a match away. Oh. Two, only a one count. Only a one. A little bit anticlimactic. You would have thought that would have been paid off, but both oh, men with Chris both Green. Both men go for high octane maneuvers, and Chris Green with a nice Russian leg sweep. Taking it back to the basics, baby. No, oh, oh. dropping that knee on his head. Jesus. Dropping that absolute delicious knee as he floats over into the cover with a half Nelson, putting that forearm right in the face. Wow. One once again. This is that is showing some ambition. That is showing that he is not going down quite easily. Big scoop by Chris Green. Jesus. Big scoop by Chris Green. 
He's going to drag him to the center of the ring. We've seen this before. Here comes another one of these neck breakers, or jawbreaker more apropos, as Chris Green floats into the cover again, but only gets a one count. I'm not selling your move, kid. I don't care. Jesus. Neither man Both can stay these. down. No. Both of these men have some... Oh! Oh! Just have a gas tank and have an arsenal, an unlimited arsenal. And now Christian Garcia putting the... Putting the pit, putting the fists to Chris Green. My God, just whooping on him. As you gotta think, you know, this could be the beginning of the end. Chris Green makes one mistake. Oh. Jesus, what a single leg drop kick. As he just looks like he impaled Christian Garcia. Just, oh. oh, God, just once I'm again. that kneecap right to the jaw. Done that three times, third time is a charm. This young man is just shoving that kneecap in his face. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You're absolutely uh, right. Was, he whiffs and what's oh, this? That was, the, that, was oh, the, that was the end. That could be the downfall of a I think that might be it. Chris Green One, whiffed by a mile two, and paid for it severely. And Garcia that redeems was himself. Look at that. My God. Garcia with the redemption arc. Well deserved. It's looking like Garcia might pick up a mic here, Nick. Let's see what he's got to say after this impressive victory. Yeah, what's good, huh? Yeah, yeah, what's good? What was that about ambition season being just a catchphrase? What was that about me being a flash in the pan? What was that about me having a chip on my shoulder? Two and zero on ambition. Would have been three for three in my last three for one for this piece of shit. Y'all gonna get at me yet? Dennis, where is my bonus? Yeah, but while I'm waiting for that paycheck, I am perfectly content to get some stuff off my chest. First off, a shout out to my man Cassidy Hayes. Whenever you get your fat ass out that tub of ice cream and finish crying, come back in this ring and get some. AC Cobra is a far better striker than you, and the both of you couldn't beat me. And shout out to the booking community's baby boy, Harris Turner, helping old ladies across the street and pulling cats out of burning trees. What's good, boy? You could barely put away this kid, and I just destroyed him. Imagine what I'm gonna do to you when I get my hands on you. You think you can just walk away after taking everything I worked for, everything I worked my ass off for? You are dead wrong. And you're gonna be hearing from me again real soon. But most importantly, a thing that matters a lot to me and to the OCW fans is respect. Owen, I see you talking all that good shit from behind the computer screen where you know I can't touch you. You want to talk about respect, young man. Get your fat behind in this ring and look at what I did to the man who beats you. And let's talk about respect man to man. And when I'm done walking through you, once my man has his turn, shout out Big Boss Ross, Captain Krasanwich, I'm coming for you, bitch. <laughs>